Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at some of the latest features recently uncovered in a New Horizons data mine. It's a super exciting one, so without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So as you know, the latest update for Animal Crossing New Horizons has just released, bringing us to version 1.10. The update that by many is being dubbed the May update adds a whole bunch of holidays and events to the game ready for the coming months. This includes several holiday events as well as three months worth of mini seasonal events, all of which add some form of new content to the game, which is really awesome. Now, thanks to some very talented data miners, we also have an idea about some new features that exist within the game's code, suggesting these features could see a release at some point in the near future. Of course, what we're about to discuss has been uncovered in a data mine, so maybe a bit spoilery. So if you don't want to know the exact details or you avoid speculative content, this video may not be for you. With that said, please leave a like on the video, it helps out so much, and let's jump into what has been uncovered. Number 1. Fence Customization so thanks to the hard work of data miners, it has been revealed that some strings associated with fence customization, a feature that has been talked about pretty much since the launch of New Horizons, now exists since the 1.10 May update. M Remake Fence and M Remake Fence Scale keywords have been uncovered within the game's code and pretty clearly suggest that something to do with customizing fences is at the very least being tested by Nintendo. Now, based on these variable names, it seems likely a feature is being tested that allows players to customize fences much in the same way as other items in New Horizons, likely by changing their colors or adding patterns to them. Furthermore, it suggests we may even be able to resize the fence itself, which is pretty awesome. To give you an idea, for over a year this simple white fence has been missing from the game but now it looks like it could become a reality in the near future. Of course it's a good idea to remember that just because this exists in the game's code it doesn't mean it will ever be released but it's still super fun to talk about and discuss what Nintendo appear to be working on. Number 2. Museum Upgrade once again, thanks to the data miners' hard work, it appears that the museum is being prepared for some kind of upgrade. According to data miners, a section of code has been modified in the latest 1.10 update to make space for another museum level. Of course, this is pretty ambiguous, but could be hinting at either a new level, similar to how the art exhibition was added last year, or an actual building upgrade that adds a new location. To add some weight to this discovery, a string labeled LDR Museum End 03 has been uncovered and is linked to camera parameters or the way the in-game camera is set up, suggesting a new entrance or doorway now exists within the game's files, which is pretty exciting. Either way, it's pretty awesome to know the museum that is already a massive building when you think about it may see even more changes or new rooms in the coming months. Number 3. Cafe and Brewster now, if potential fence customization and new museum upgrades isn't enough for you, data miners have also revealed another collection of keywords that appear to be linked to a cafe. It's been reported that C Cafe has surfaced within the code, hinting at a new cafe. I may be wrong, but I believe this was also found in a data mine last year sometime, but was removed at some point, so if that's true, it's pretty interesting it has reappeared. Another string labeled LDR Museum Cafe has also been found and is once again used as a camera parameter to set up the in-game camera. Of course, this is just speculation, but it's entirely possible this is the parameter the camera uses once inside the cafe. Furthermore, the details held within the game's code for Brewster that I believe has been in the game since launch has been modified slightly since the latest 1.10 update and some of his parameters have been adjusted, which once again may suggest the developers are preparing him to actually appear in the game. So with changes present in the latest update for both a cafe and Brewster, it seems likely Nintendo are playing around with the idea of the roost. Anyway, it goes without saying, but it's worth pointing out that this is highly speculative at this point and hasn't been officially revealed by Nintendo. With that said, this information has been extracted from the game's code and does currently exist. Of course, that doesn't mean these things will come to fruition, but it does show they're at least being worked on and tested, which is super exciting. 
So there we have it. That was three new features that have been uncovered in the latest update. It's not known right now if the cafe and museum upgrades are linked at all, but anything's possible. But what do you think about this news? Do you think a cafe is coming to the museum or are Nintendo just testing various things? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Of course, I'd like to thank the data miners for all of their hard work and the news outlets for sharing their discoveries. If you want to find out even more, I'll leave the links in the description. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe as I'll be uploading a bunch of New Horizons news as and when it happens. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you made it to the end of the video, please comment fence. Just to let me know you did. That would be super awesome. And please be sure to include whether or not you'd like like to be able to paint fences in New Horizons? I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.